Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jay Fanta and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we have the free-to-play guide for the new Super Saiyan 3 Bardock Doken event that has just arrived on Global on the 25 Stamina Super 2 Difficulty Stage, the Unknown Battle. So, as you can see on screen, we are running a full tech team. Now, the reason why I recommend this team is simply because of the last phase. The Super Saiyan 3 Bardock on the last phase is AGL and you only have three turns in order to beat him. So, just to, you know, guarantee you that win... Uh, and without any stress, you got to run a tech team in order to beat him with free-to-play, of course. Obviously, if you have a jacked-up pay-to-play team, you can beat it with that team. But anyway, let's go through the team real quickly, and then we can talk about suggestions if you don't have some of the units here. So, we have Tech Krillin for our leader. Tech types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%. Then we have the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Very easy to obtain. Supreme damage to the enemy and 180% attack boost at a high chance. Very good, strong hitting unit as long as these passive is activated. Next, we have Jackie Chun. If you don't know, Bardock can be both sealed and stunned. So if you do want to bring a stunner on the team, I definitely recommend you do so. It just, you know, it helps you use one less item. But we are bringing our sealer on ours. Uh, and he is a good supportive unit as well. Tech types, attack and defense, plus 25%. The next unit we are bringing is the Kid Trunk Sword. You get him from the Hirudagon Story event. And what makes him very good to bring on this team is the medium chance to get a critical hit through his passive and that's going to be very helpful on the in phase uh just because we have type disadvantage there and we want to get as much damage out as possible so we don't use too many items throughout the whole event the whole goal is just to use like three or four items at least uh we don't want to use all eight just like ui goku's event which was a very big nightmare but anyway continuing on we have the bomber youth she is a free 100 percentable unit uh, she doesn't involve any of, you know, the regular tech orbs, and she uses her own orbs. She's a very good unit to bring, just because she has a great chance of reducing damage by 50%, and that works with all typing. She doesn't have to guard to get that passive off. Uh, she just has to have RNG on her side, and so, you know, defending against that in phase is going to be super good. Hopefully, she comes back on global very soon. She did come back on JP, so it is a good chance that she comes back on global sometime very soon. And if you are on the newer side of the player base, uh, when she does come, I recommend it very much to get her as fast as possible. But obviously, if you don't have her, I'll show you some suggestions in a bit. So moving on to our second last unit, we are bringing LR Goku for the damage and defense. Very good unit, high stats, so we have good HP overall, and you know he can defend pretty well throughout most of the stages except the int. And then for our friend, we're using a Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. He provides Super Tech types, key plus 3, 120% in stat boost. He also has a rare chance to stun the enemy. So he's going to be our stunner for the team. And he's just a very good hard hitting unit. This one provides 11 critical, 12 additional, which isn't like crazy good. But this is the first one I found. So you don't really need a good one. Just one that at least has some sort of crit. Just the free one would be even as good. Um, but you're not really relying on the friend this time. Uh, you're really just, you know, hoping your whole team does well in terms of critting. So let's quickly go through some replacements if you don't have some of these units here. So for the friend, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, if you don't find one, uh, hopefully you do because he is on the banner for the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock at the time of this recording. Obviously, if you're in the future and you're watching it when the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is long, old, uh, then... <laughs> Find any good tech leader uh, recommendation, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta over the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel anytime. Uh, Gogeta just hits harder. He can counter. He's a very good unit. He even provides 50% for tech types, which isn't the best, but he provides himself 150%, so he's going to carry the team very well, especially with crits and all that. You can also bring LR Goku Black, uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Brawly, as well as the uh, new LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku LR. So... There are just some suggestions of tech leads. Uh, for the Bomber, she's pretty hard to get by. So if you do want another defensive unit, LR Hercule is a good suggestion. He's rare chance to stun the enemy as well. He can stack his defense with his 18 key super attack. Hard hitting unit as well. I'm not bringing him just because not a lot of people have him uh, compared to LR Goku. He's just more accessible, LR Goku, compared to Hercule just because he takes a very long time to get. But LR Goku, you could probably get him in like within two weeks. If you don't have Trunks, again, any high damaging unit is recommended. Like Tech Kaba, LR Hercule. Uh, if you want another defending unit, the Candy Vegito is probably your next best thing. Rare chance to stun the enemy. Has a pretty much a 50% chance to dodge the enemy. 
So that's going to be very good. And he disables guard, which will help you through the int stage of the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock event. So, plus there. Uh, for other stealers, if you don't have Jackie Chun, because if you don't have the Turtle and Bomber medals, then you can't obviously awaken Jackie Chun to seal. Uh, you can also bring the Bomber, she seals, but <laughs> and, Mu and Muay Thai too. But unfortunately, they're in the DB Saga banner. And obviously, if you have tickets to summon on the DB Saga banner, you should have been able to grind at least one set of Bulma and Turtle medals. So it's kind of weird if you have them, but not the Super Strike Jackie Chan. Now, the items we are using in this event is going to be the Sensu Bean, Ghost Usher, Icarus, and Princess Snake. So without further ado, let's get into the event. I talk about the teams too much. Let's get through the battle and show you how good this team is for this event. So let's get as much key as possible. Key is very important, especially if you're running the Super Saiyan 3 Annual Goku. Uh, he just doesn't link well uh, for everybody, so... Getting as much key, especially for him, is going to be very important. Hopefully, we get this last key in the last spot. No. Hopefully, we get a two. Yes, we do. Okay, good. Hopefully, it's Angel Goku. No, it's Jackie Chan. Damn it. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't bring a full team of freezers, uh, if you don't know, Bardock is weak against anyone with the link Universe's Most Malevolent, which is a link that is shared with both Cooler and Freezer. The reason why I didn't bring it was because when I was test running it, I was using a Resurrected Warriors category lead angel golden freezer as my friend 100 percent by the way and with the and with the whole freezer thing they're all different typings so the best leader i could have brought in that situation was the uh fighter form angel freezer that was the resurrected warriors category lead and you know he only provides 20 percent in stat boosts and two key which isn't enough you're getting around 140 to 160 thousand hp depending if your unit's 100 percent or not which I'm pretty sure like four of my units were 100% and it just wasn't working out. You had to rely on Angel Golden Freezer way too much to do damage. Even though they do extra damage, like pretty well damage if you get, you know, a crit, it's going to work out really well. It's just unreliable. Uh, and then you got the countdown phase and if you screw up one Angel Golden Freezer super attack, you pretty much screwed up the whole game. So yeah. But, it, oh, but with that saying, it goes through, you know, the whole thing one to four phase really well and type disadvantage isn't going to be too crazy uh compared to this tech one uh but anyway we are on the second phase of this uh bardock event which is the super saiyan physical bardock and he can actually seal us so just got to be a little bit more careful hopefully you don't get sealed uh but that, other than that it should be quite easy but hopefully we can get a super attack with the goku because we need six key and we could not get it so Unfortunately, that screwed up, and we didn't even seal with Jackie Chan. Great stuff, great stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we get a dodge with Bomber, I'll take it, honestly. Hopefully we get an additional super attack with Jackie Chan. Nope, nope. Why did I even think I would get one? Additional attack with Goku, though, level 12 additional. But yeah, th for this rotation, it's going to be Super Saiyan 3 Goku and LR Goku together. Uh, that's probably the best one you could possibly do. If you had Gogeta, it would be Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku and Gogeta, which is even better. Just because they have Fierce Battle, um, the Super, the over in the Flash Link is just very well-rounded in terms of links. So no, li no passive boost from Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, which is unfortunate, and no crits. But Goku tanked that really well. And then Krillin's the MVP here. Nope, not really. But he gets an additional attack. Skips the animation, which they really need to fix, and we're going to get super attacked here, which is probably meaning we are going to be using our first item in the next rotation. Yep, looks like it. Actually, we can use it in the next turn. We can use it in the next turn. Uh, we can get the seal off, which is great, and then Trunks can get a super attack, and that means... that I'm pretty sure that's a guaranteed kill at that point. Alright, so... Pretty easy event. The event is pretty outdated just because of how late it's been released. But with that saying, you know, if this was released on the JP timeline, it would be the exact same team. So nothing too special. No real big changes except the Trunk Sword. Alright, so now we have all our three biggest hitters, which is not what I want. Unfortunately, with this kind of thing, you got to have LR Goku and the friend Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku together. And then your free-to-play Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku is just going to be left in the dust. And with that said, we are pretty screwed again with Key. Look at that. 
And as you can see, tech is not the best in terms of linking. It's just not great, but you just got to power through it. You got to be more wiser, more wiser with your <laughs> with your key selection. But we can get a super attack with our free to play one, which has the 180% boost. So that's okay. Getting super attack. Luckily, we princess snake. 35,000, not too shabby. Additional normal attack again, kind of sucks. And no crits whatsoever. We're just saving the crits for the int phases. I'm hoping that's what they're thinking of. Because we're not getting any crits whatsoever when most of our units here are level 20 crits. And <laughs> only a, a few exceptions. And one has a built in crit, which did crit at one point. So I'm not too disappointed there. Alright, we can uh, seal. And funny enough, Krillin can tank very well. He actually has the most defense in terms of the free-to-play TURs, so yeah, that's kind of that's an interesting fact, don't you think? <laughs> we did get super attacked, which was very bad. <laughs> All right, let's heal up here. This is our second item. We shouldn't be able. We should use about five items in this event. All right, Angel Goku can grab all those rainbow orbs. Perfect for him, which means sacrifice for the LR Goku. No super attack for him. Trunks gonna get a super attack as well. One crit. One crit is all we need. O almost a million in stats. Attack stat. And we get the KO there. Good, good, good stuff. Now we are on to the hard part, the int. The int. Luckily, our rotation and all of his attacks are just so perfect where we don't really need to use an item at all. So... That's perfect for us. Look at all those rainbows. That could have been for Angel Goku, but I want to guarantee the seal. Uh, that is six, so that will get us a super attack. Got to get as much damage out as possible. First dodge. Great stuff. Only 2,000 damage with a 50% reduction. No uh, damage reduction items used, so Bulma is just great. Unfortunately, she couldn't dodge that super attack, but yeah, she, oh, good. She reduced the super attack damage, so that's good stuff. And this Bardock can seal you as well, so be careful as well. I think it's just this Bardock and the physical Bardock can seal you. Nice critical from our free-to-play Goku. Alright, so I'm thinking of doing this. Unfortunately, I think I might have to just go Sasha here. I want to make sure that Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku can get the most rainbow orbs as possible. And hopefully this drops those blues perfectly in line. Thank you. And Krillin can super attack at 9 key, which is perfect. You don't know if you max out his SA. Super attack at 9 key. Alright, so. Let's see. No crits. But an additional? No, no additionals. But Goku can crit here, please. Oh my god. <laughs> Watch this. Krillin is going to super attack and get a crit. How did I know? How did I know? Oh my god. Alright, Bomber up front. I'm actually going to Princess Snake. Actually, we'll just Icarus here. That means we don't have to do anything too much on the next phase. Because I'm pretty sure it will be a guaranteed heal or something next turn. Or maybe not. Because Bomber is just too much of a beast. Nice critical. Wow, all our weak units are doing criticals except for our strong units. Alright, the seal is happened. They only hit for like 13,000, so we don't need to even heal. Which is great stuff. Alright, perfect. Got a rainbow orb. And we can super attack with LR Goku. Just can we super attack with our friend with our free-to-play one? No, we cannot. Someone's gotta get shafted. Someone definitely has to get shafted. We can Doku mode next turn. I'll probably do it with Trunks. It's guaranteed. And I think Bulma and Jackie Chan just get a guaranteed super attack at that point. So, ooh, or maybe not. Maybe we'll take him out right now. Get a Doku mode next turn. And win the game. <laughs> wow, they saved the crits to the end. Thank God. Alright, so now our rotation is kind of, kind of crappy. I think the best way to go about this is... To use Jackie Chan as the... <laughs> oh god, why does this have to happen? We have to super attack and do a Doka mode with our worst units. <laughs> Hopefully he does at least 600,000 attack. 
Hopefully, and get a critical, and an additional super attack, just to make up for what just happened. Okay, so, 9,000 damage is not too bad. We're going to get the Doka mode. Let's hope to get all the nodes here. Alright, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, good, good stuff, good stuff. Usually I screw up <laughs> the, the most crucial Doka modes, and then get all the perfect ones when I'm it's not needed. So yeah, we have three turns. This is our first turn done. Hopefully, ooh, 500,000. Takes about a bar. He has like 4 million HP, so it's still quite a lot. I think with the Angel Golden Freezer, he did around 2 million attack with 100%. So it is possible that you can uh, beat him with a full Freezer team. But unfortunately, if you get one screw up, it's all over. But with this, like we screwed up with the Doka mode. We're going to... Probably take him out in this turn right here, especially since we got lucky with the key and got everybody to super attack. And we got a lot of rainbow orbs for Angel Freezer with Angel Goku. Alright, almost a million in attack stat. The Super Saiyan Link is up for the extra 10%. And we get a crit for a million. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Alright, and then Goku... Will almost take him out. Trunks is going to slash his uncle. Would you classify them as uncles? <laughs> <He's> un <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he's great uncle, okay? <laughs> anyway, that's going to wrap up the video. We got the seven medals for completing it on Super 2. If this guide helped you in any way, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video around. But as always, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jay Fanta, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay fizzy. Peace out.